something I haven't showed you guys. So here's the warehouse, and if you come to the back door, go Knox, go. This is like a sector in the back that's all gated, which is really nice. Hey Nala, come on, come on. So this is all gated. The grass is gonna grow in eventually. Uh, it's already starting to grow over here. And um, once it grows, it'll be really nice for the dogs. But it's a good little area behind the buildings. Come on. They've never been out here before. Good area for them to run. Got today's outfit orders going out. So I was thinking about, we're getting a mini fridge. I was thinking about getting a Sour Patch Kids. There's 52 carbs and literally like this amount of Sour Patch. Not worth it. Got the new Alphate hang tags. It's a front, and the back. Got the logo. An athlete is an individual who inspires others to dream more, learn more, and be more. What's that down there? This morning weighed in at 170.8 pounds. 170.8. That means I'm almost in the 160s, which is really light. So, feeling pretty lean. Do like a little update later on in the gym. I don't know why I just showed you my tricep. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go to Target, get some monsters, some waters, and fill up that mini fridge, and then we're gonna go get some lunch. And I'll tell you all about it. But I feel like my neck gets really skinny when I diet. We've come a long, it's a long neck. What's, what's the dinosaur? Uh, uh, long neck? Lamb before time? Yeah. Uh, forget. Lamb before time. They call her long neck. Or him. I don't know if it's a male or female. Uh, little foot. <laughs> little foot. He looked little foot. Picked up orange monsters, white monsters, two cases of water, in case of power rate zero. For the refreshments of choice. Tails is going to be Chipotle. Heads is going to be Subway. Tails is Chipotle. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Back of the line. About two and a half servings of rice, double chicken, pico, medium, and hot salsa, corn, and cheese. Water. All right. Stocked up the fridge. Put the printer on top of the fridge. So that that looks good. That was a nice little move. So we've got a few Powerade Zeros. Got half of my protein shake from this morning. I'm gonna drink that post workout. Uh, lots of waters. Filled it up with 12 orange monsters and 10 white monsters because orange monsters are just a little bit better than the white ones in my opinion. Now, we're gonna get ready to work out. Nikki, Tim, we'll listen to, we're listening to some pretty hardcore uh, music. Mark sent me his playlist. So he's got like different moods and stuff. Okay, we'll put some uh, EDM. This is Destiny playing. Get in the mood, get in the mood, Nala. In the mood. She's not in the mood. Nice in the mood. Are you in the mood? Ah. Something cool about the new upgrade on the Mac is you can. Hello. Hello. Hi. Who is this? Mr. Wilson. Yes. 
that moment when people call you Mr. Guzman <laughs> instead of Christian. <laughs> Getting to that age, guys. Getting to that age. Well, we're about to do a pre-workout. Put the music back on. Mm, right there. One scoop of that. And one scoop of... Right there. Right next to the water gallon. One scoop of that one. Taking the aminos with the pre-workout just to down it. Uh, I've been trying to drink a lot of water, so I feel kind of full right now, just off of water. So I should drink this and start the workout. It's gonna be a full push day, so not just chest and tricep. I'm gonna do some uh, military pressing as well. I have a haircut at 6:30 because this is like <sighs> massive. <laughs> All right, guys, so today we're going to switch it up just a little bit. We're going to start out with the flat dumbbell bench press as opposed to the flat barbell. So warm it up here, do the 25 pounders. Alright guys, we're about to go four sets of four to six reps. I'll be using 120 pound dumbbells. We're attempting to use 120 pound dumbbells. Let's go, got my wrist wraps, rise, got my belt, so I'm ready. Let's go! Let's go CG. Come on, one more. That was not the most graceful <laughs> kickback. A little bit rusty. So I'll try to do better next set. So what I'm going to try doing to get the weights on my chest a little bit more gracefully. If you notice, the dumbbells are almost at my knees right now. I'm going to bring them closer. A little heavy. So about right here, so they're on my chest. So I go back, they're already on my chest. In the zone, breathe, breathe in. Go. Uh. Uh. By getting the positioning right, you actually conserve a lot of energy. So on that second set, I was able to get six reps instead of five reps. And I feel like it's because I set up a little bit more efficiently. So take time on your setup, and it'll help you out on your working sets. It was really nice to break up the monotony and incorporate that flat dumbbell bench press as opposed to just doing you know flat barbell flat barbell flat barbell for weeks and weeks and months and months and months uh, I really honestly enjoyed switching it up a little bit but after the four sets of four to six moved on to the incline hammer strength for five sets of seven now it, it wasn't just a normal five sets of seven we did do paused reps so at the bottom of the rep you pause and hold it for one Mississippi or one second and then you explode up uh, using two plates and a quarter two 45s and a 25 pound plate here. And I tried to keep, well, I, I did keep 
the same weight for all five sets of seven. So, you know, on my first set, I did two plates and a quarter. And on my fifth set, I did two plates and a quarter. It was challenging, but I did complete the sets. So next time I do this workout, I'll most likely try to do five sets of eight with the two plates and a quarter. Now, just focusing on, you know, still trying to focus on progressing. And, you know, as I'm getting leaner, I'll take any progress I can get, whether it's one rep, you know, here and there, uh, increasing t- five pounds to my lifts, um, just really trying to stay focused and continue making any sort of progress as far as increasing weights go. Uh, after the incline hammer, moved on to four sets of, actually, I think, it was, no, it's definitely five sets, five sets of the hammer strength shoulder press going anywhere from eight to 10 reps. I want to say I was closer to the eight uh, rep count throughout my entire sets, but really focus on keeping my scapula retracted and just really staying tight throughout this movement. Um, after the flat press and the incline press, this was sort of, you're going into the third pressing movement here and you're going to see later on, uh, after these workout clips, I sort of explain how I was feeling during this, but right now I'm just strictly talking about the workout. So after that moved on to some tricep pushdowns, uh, five sets of 12 to 15, and then moved on to an overhead tricep and finally a pec deck for three sets. Now, um, the workout became very difficult for me to complete after, I feel like the turning point in my workout was definitely that uh, shoulder press. So that third compound pushing movement took a lot out of me, Uh, but that was the workout. And after that, just finished off, uh, I actually went to my office and came back out and did some abs like 30 minutes later. So all I did was three sets of decline ab crunches, which you're seeing here. Uh, Nala's with me. I'm trying to train her to stay. She's really, she's good at staying. I can teach her to stay and, you know, sort of on my command come to me. So I'm just working on telling her to stay. And then whenever I'm doing an exercise, keeping her by me, telling her to stay. And the difficult part is you're not paying attention to her. Um, you know, so normally when I'm telling her to stay, I'm looking her at the, I'm looking at her in the eye and then I say, all right, come here. So I'm not paying attention to her. I'm focused on the lift, but she's doing a pretty good job at staying next to me there. She was sort of in the way, but <laughs> it's a work in progress guys. Uh, after that, I did a few sets of the rope curls or rope crunches, which are my favorite ab exercises. Finished up the workout, finishing off my protein, I'm killing it. And I want to talk to you guys really quickly. Today was the third day in a row that my workouts weren't great. Um, I had a back workout, then I had the legs, and then today was push day. And I feel like I'm sort of use this as a reference for you guys. So normally, if I'm in a surplus, or even at the the first four weeks of this cut, I feel like I would start with my energy levels up here, and you know throughout the workout, like starting here. Here's about 30 minutes in, 45 minutes in, like an hour and a half in. Uh, so, you know, energy levels slowly decrease throughout the workout. But right now, the last three, four days, I felt like my energy starts up here and it just like comes down a lot quicker. So by 45 minutes, I, f- I just feel like taxed out and it's really frustrating. Um, I feel really flat and I feel like I'm strong in my first movement, but I f- it's like my body's fatiguing quicker, fatiguing faster than normal and it's just kind of frustrating. But I thought I would talk, you know, explain what's happening. So when you guys are dieting and you you're being aggressive with the cut, uh, keep in mind I'm being more aggressive than normal because I'm less than seven weeks out, about six and a half weeks out now, and that's not a ton of time. So I'd rather put the work in now and put those, you know, the flat days and feeling weak and um, the bad workouts now. So that way I'm leaner, leaner, leaner. So when I'm further out from the, further out from the show, when I'm, you know, two, two and a half, three weeks out, I can start messing with my carb intake, increase my carbs, fill out nicely, and um, I feel good later on. So right now, the next three, four weeks are gonna be the most challenging part of prep for me. And uh, I wanna show you the good days, the bad days, the good workouts, the PRs, and the terrible workouts. And um, just being real, keeping it real. So just know the end goal. then goal is to beat my previous physiques, beat any package I've ever brought to this stage. So doing everything I can to make that a reality. It's 521 right now, about to head out. I um, have to run by my parents' house real quick, get some stuff, and then I'm gonna get a haircut. So I'm gonna finish this protein shake. I uh, just finished editing a few pictures and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, haircut, this is the before. We'll see the after. God, it's big. <laughs> it's terrible. 
All right, we'll see you after. Shameless vlogging here outside of Chick fil A. I'm doing a full circle. Uh, full circle. Looks nice. Haircut's done. Doing something a little different because as you get as you get leaner, your face gets leaner obviously. So instead of like being here, it kind of you know, it kind of sucks in so it looks longer. And your neck kind of loses some fat on your neck, so your neck looks longer. So instead of having like, a long face, long neck, and really tall hair, which I normally do, um, I'm sort of like lowering the height and putting it more to the side uh, I guess it's like a variation of a pompadour pompadour is that what, I think it's what's called pompadour pompadour so that's how it looks guys I like it if you're in the area check out Anita she's really really good in Sugarland so we're salon privé salon privé I'm about to hear, go here inside of Chick-fil-A and get some dinner <laughs> I think we're going to Seguin tomorrow. Good old Seguin. Good old Seguin. Alright, so we got a grilled chicken sandwich, lettuce, tomato, and I added some cheese on a whole wheat bun. I also got a grilled market salad, which is grilled chicken, you got like blueberries and strawberries and apples with uh, granola some nut blend, and some fat-free, or light, Italian dressing. So that's gonna be my dinner. And the water on deck. This morning hit a new low weigh-in of 170.6. Yesterday's weigh-in was 170.8, so I'm down 0.2 pounds. Now about to have some breakfast. I just got back from the gym doing a few errands and uploading a video. So first meal of the day, I've got four packets of this oatmeal right here. It's the maple brown sugar, low sh lower sugar oatmeal. So four packets of that. I've got three fourths of a serving of the peanut butter, the bee's knees. This is a really amazing tasting peanut butter. I would highly recommend along with these two, if you guys haven't tried these, you need to. White Chocolate Wonderful is really good. I like this one like on rice cakes and the bee's knees. So three fourths of a serving of that. Uh, inside of the oatmeal, I have some, I can't believe it's not butter spray. Some Walden Farms pancake syrup, which is just a zero calorie syrup. Now of course, if you use tons and tons of it, you are gonna start adding a few calories. So watch out there. Um, and some salt. So after that, Mix that. Also some pepper on the eggs. Uh, this is five egg whites and one whole egg. And one Dannon light and fit Greek yogurt. Breakfast. We are filling up the range for the very first time. So take your guesses at how much it's going to cost. I'm going to run into the gas station and get some snacks. Do you want any snacks? Exactly $78.26 to fill up. To show you what we got, two and a half hours on the road, we picked up two waters. I got myself two of these protein shakes. Uh, they're macros. Muscle milk is normally not that great. It's like nine fat per serving. This is only one and a half fat five carb and 20 protein. So I got two of them, so it'd be three, three fat, 10 carb, and 40 protein. And I picked up a orange monster. Nice. So let's go. We're here with Cheyenne, Shelby, and Savannah, Nikki. Nikki's family's coming. We're gonna eat some dinner here at Los Cucos Mexican Cafe. Really hungry right now. Not good going in the restaurant, but what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> so, really hungry going into the restaurant. I'm gonna do my best to control myself and 
I'm recording, hold myself accountable. So I'll show you what I get. <laughs> We've got three chicken breasts, a side of steamed veggies, and we will serve the white rice with the diet book. On our way back from Seguin, Texas.